Hey guys, it is Dear, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you make those edgy scales and the shake. So let's get started straight away. So these two are the clips that I'm going to use. These are already fixed it and stuff. Now uh, I'm going to add a new null object. And I'm going to keep it like over here and trim it. We don't need this for the second clip, so you can like only add it on the first clip. If you have, if you have three clips, you can obviously add on the second one as well. Now what you have to do is just uh, use this and parent this clip to this null. Now let's uh, start adding those scales. Now hit on the first clip and hit S, so open up the scale and keyframe uh, the scale. Get to the first frame and put this to like 250 or it totally depends on you how you want to put it. Like obviously value should be more than 100 and it depends on upon your clip as well and now let's get uh, and now get to the last frame of the clip and put this back to 100 again it will automatically add a keyframe there now highlight these keyframes press f9 to ease them then open up the graph editor and this is the value graph by the way not the speed graph so make sure you are editing in speed graph as well now let's adjust the graph make your graph sharp cause we want uh, that zoom out very quickly that's how edgy scales work so this is the graph as you can see it looks something like this now what i'm going to do is hide this one first of all now uh, get to this layer then hit s again then get to the middle of the clip I mean middle of the layer then add one more keyframe here don't change the value uh, now get to the last frame of this clip or the layer and increase this to like around 180 maybe okay, that looks good what you can do is yeah, by adding null layers you can overlap the movements of the uh, scales or positions or rotations you cannot do that without uh, the null layers now uh, highlight these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open up the graph editor and this time make the same graph but on the opposite side. You can also on the motion blur, I have already done that. Now your clip look should look something like this. As you can see it zooms out first and then zooms in again. Now you can like hit you to hide these keyframes. Now get to the uh, second clip then hit S and get to the first frame and first of all let's add motion tile to the skip cause we uh, want those mirror edges now these are my settings you can just use them as well now uh, hit S to open up the scale then uh, keyframe the scale put the scale to like uh, 50 maybe or I'll just keep it to 55 and get to the last frame of the clip and put this back to 100 again. Now again highlight these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them and get to the graph editor and this time make a graph which should look something like this. It's the same graph but on the opposite side. Now I will hide these keyframes. As you can see, uh, first the first clip zooms out first and then zooms in with the second clip. It looks pretty good. So now let's add the shape. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. Trim it according to your clip, or just adjust it according to your, according to your clip. And I'm going to use an effect called Twitch. It's a plugin, by the way. If you like, don't have it, search on YouTube how to get it. You'll find videos that will help you out. Now let's add Twitch. And by the way, this thing that I'm using, it's a plugin also. It's a free one called FX Consume. You can get it on like search on YouTube how to get. It. You will find that one as well. So let's add the effect to it. After you add the effect, get to the first frame of the adjustment layer. And put the speed to uh, i mean uh, put the amount to 50. you can like increase it according to your needs 
I will for now I'll just put it to 50 and increase the speed to 80 and then go to enable enable the blur enable the light and enable the slide now you can close this out and go to operator controls uh, I mean open the slide and put this to like 3 uh, leave the type in as it is and put the slide spread to 0 because we don't want the spread and enable the RGB split and put this to like uh, 15 maybe this effect is actually good and you can increase this if you want but I just leave it to 0 now uh, now we are going to animate the amount I mean keyframe the amount so now let's do that uh, hit on the stopwatch option and hit you to see the keyframe now get to the last uh, frame of the clip or the second last and add another uh, keyframe over here and don't change the value for this and now get to the middle of the adjustment layer and put the amount to zero it will create a keyframe there now highlight these keyframes press f9 to ease them open the graph editor again this is the value graph not the speed graph now adjust the graph like how i am doing your graph should look something like this and uh, over here it should look something like this So it's done. Uh, you can just copy the switch from here and paste it on the second clip. You can use the shortcuts as well, which is Control C and Control V. I'll just arrange these keyframes, like adjust them. Now I will just pre-render it real quick and show you how it looks. So that's pretty much it guys, hopefully this video helps you out, I'll see you guys in the next one.